So today we're going to be assembling the SunGold Power enclosed server rack cabinet. We're going to test it out with the SunGold Power battery. We're also going to test it out with other batteries, see how versatile this cabinet really is. And then we'll go over all the features and I'll let you know exactly what I like and don't like about the cabinet. So let's go ahead and uh, go back in time. We'll get putting this together. So the Sun Power Gold server rack cabinet comes in two boxes. This one looks like it's more the sides. This one looks like it's more the top and the bottom. One thing I noticed right off the bat is there is fans in the top. You don't have to hook them up, but they are like got a regular 120 volt uh, cord attached to them. So you could turn the fans on, I guess, if you needed those, but you shouldn't with the batteries. It also looks like we have a bag of casters for the cabinet, but then in this bag, there's actually feet. So maybe you do both or maybe you can do either or. I don't know, we'll start putting it together. Well, I think I found the instructions. One's an overall view of how it goes together and then we have another one that breaks it down into four basic steps. So we'll go ahead, we'll see how long this will take me. Right now it's 12.03. Hopefully I can do this in less than an hour. So it looks like it gets both the casters and the feet that you can thread down and keep it from rolling around. Well, this took me longer than I thought it would. It's already 2.05. I've been at it for two hours. I've got the entire cabinet assembled except for the bus bars. So the server rack cabinet comes with two bus bars and they're, they're fairly heavy. So I ground off the corner just to verify and it is copper on the inside, but silver on the outside. So they're probably nickel plated or silver plated bus bars and they're already pre-drilled and tapped for the bolts. And it does come with four insulators to be able to mount the bus bars off of the cabinet. And it comes with some Panduit to be able to install the bus bar on the inside of the Panduit. That way you can make your wire connections and then you can cover this up and make everything safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bus bars put together. And there's gonna be one mounts on the left side and the right side of the cabinet for your positive and negative bus bars. I'm going to guess this is going to take me like another half an hour to get this done. All right, just finished getting the server rack cabinet put together and took me two and a half hours, almost exactly to put this together, but it rolls really smooth. Of course, you can set the feet so that it doesn't roll around. 
It has a lockable door. Now the door was one thing that is not, it kind of hits a little bit. Right there, it didn't want to quite shut. I did put one washer under this hinge to try to lift it up and it's, it's real close. I just have to lift up on it just a little bit and it'll, it'll shut. So the door is just not quite perfect, but that is, this is real glass, not plexiglass. This is real glass in the door so you can see all of the server rack uh, batteries that you have inside. So I think there's a total of eight of these grommets where you can take the battery cables out of the cabinet over to your inverter. There's two on each side and then there's four on the top. The side panels, you can push in, the side panels pop off so that you can get access to the side to help route cables or anything. So I think that's, a, that's really nice. On the back of the cabinet, it does have another door here and it just has a lock. So you have to have the key to be able to open it up and open this door, but you can get to all four sides of the, of the server rack cabinet. So after assembling the cabinet, my first impression is I'm, I'm pretty happy with the build. I think the build quality is good and I'm very happy with all of the access that you have. Being able to access all four sides of the, ins of the cabinet to be able to like run your wiring, you could zip tie it, keep everything nice and neat and you can just route all your wiring the way you want to. I, I like that. Uh, and I also like that the whole shelving system in here is adjustable. Uh, I've got it adjusted somewhat forward right now. That way I can, I can install deeper, longer server rack batteries in here. And then all of the shelving is adjustable as well. So you can change the width between these. So there's a total of six shelves in here for six server rack batteries. I've got some where I've got seven and a half inches of access. I've got some that are only like maybe five and a half inches between the shelves. I don't have them all matching. They're, they vary a little bit because I want to see what types of batteries I can actually fit in here. So Sun Gold Power says that this server rack cabinet is made to fit their two models of server rack batteries that they sell. So they have a heated server rack battery and then they have an unheated server rack battery. And I've got the, the heated model that we can test out. But that's how most server rack cabinets are. The, the manufacturer makes them to fit their specific battery and then other brands may not fit in there. And that's the problem that I have had is that I've got some batteries that are tall that won't fit in my existing server rack cabinet. I've got some batteries that are long that won't fit in my existing cabinet. And when I saw this one, I saw how everything, all the shelving and everything on the inside was fully adjustable. And I thought this cabinet may actually fit all different types of, of batteries. And I really wanted to test that out. So I, I reached out to Sun Gold Power. I asked them if I could review this uh, server rack cabinet and they were nice enough to send it out to me. So what we'll do is, is I'll, first we'll put a Sun Gold Power battery in here. We'll see how it fits. And then I'm gonna take some of my, what I'll call maybe different otter shaped batteries that don't fit in my other server rack cabinet. And we'll see if they fit inside of this cabinet. If they do, that means that this server rack cabinet is more versatile than some of the other cabinets out there. So the Sun Gold Power battery is actually one of the smaller server rack batteries that I have. It's only five and a quarter inches tall. That's the, I think it's the shortest one that I have. And most server rack batteries, they should run around 17 and a quarter to 17 and a half inches tall because that's kind of the standard width for a server rack. The other thing that varies though is the length. And this one's only like 19 and a quarter inches long. So my bottom shelf, I've got it set to about five and three quarter inches. So it should fit in here fine. There we go. All right, that fit in there perfectly. And uh, the covers that go over the terminals, they're still back about a half an inch from these covers on the bus bars. So there's still plenty of room in the front to run the, ba run the battery cables. So the next server rack battery I wanna test is the tall one that I have. It's right at seven inches tall. I think my next tallest battery is six inches tall. This is a full inch bigger than any of my other batteries. And uh, I've got a shelf in here I have set. That one is set almost exactly seven inches. So I think the adjustment on these shelves 
you can adjust them in about half inch increments and I think it's just perfect for this. We'll see. Now the panduits do just slightly catch the little flange on the side where you tighten the battery down. They just catch a little bit. Just kind of got to wiggle, wiggle past them here. All right, there we go, it is in. That's like, <laughs> I got about a sixteenth of an inch above there, so just like perfect for it. Now this one here is the longest server rack battery I have. It's only about five and five eighths inches tall, or wide, yeah, tall, I guess. But the length is 20 and three quarter inches. So that means this is an inch and a half longer than the Sun Gold Power battery, two and three quarter inches longer than this battery. The problem with this battery is getting it to go in all the way without hitting the back of the cabinet. It fit. It just barely fit. It, it seems to maybe just barely almost touches the back of the cabinet. So, but it does fit. So I could bolt it to the rails here and secure it. So those are the two big problem batteries that I had and they fit in this cabinet. So just because you buy a server rack style battery, they're not they're none of them are really the same size. They all vary a little bit on how their batteries are configured and how it's built. The only thing that the server rack battery really conforms to is, is the width, not the height, not the length. But at least this cabinet will fit all the ones I have. Now there's a lot of these battery companies out here, they'll sell a rack for their battery, but it's an open rack. So all the wiring, everything's exposed. You can just reach up and touch it. It's not necessarily the safest installation. And that may be the only thing that they offer. So if you're looking for an enclosed rack to, to put your batteries in, this might be an option you could consider. Let's take a quick look inside the cabinet here. You can see the black panduit cover. You know, I didn't have the cover on here. There is a cover that goes over this. So there's two big bolts on one end of the bus bar. That's where you would run your cables to the inverter, your bigger two watt cables to your inverter. And then you have several bolts all the way down. And there's a couple smaller ones. I think there's three smaller ones in here. Uh, but there is, you know, your normal size bolts for your batteries themselves. So there's several connections on the bus bar. Now when I wire one of these up, what I like to do is I like to put one, like the battery positive at one end, and I like to put the battery negative at the other end to help keep the the different batteries in balance with each other so they don't drift too far apart it'll it'll help and what i did on this bus bar is i flipped it over so the big bolts are down here at the bottom so that i can hook up my large cable down here and then i can hook my large cable up here on the positive so i flipped one over it's probably not necessarily designed that way but one thing i would suggest is it would be nice to have these bigger bolts it would be nice to have one at, at each end instead of two at one end. It'd be nice if they had one at each end. That'd be, I think, a little bit of an improvement. But of course, that's easily solved just by flipping one of them over opposite than the other side. Now, there's really only one negative I see about this cabinet, and that is gonna be, you have to assemble it. It's not gonna be a fully assembled cabinet that comes to you, and all you gotta do is just get it out of the box or throw some wheels on there. There's gonna be a little bit of time involved putting this together. That's probably the biggest downside of this cabinet. Other than that, it has great access, fully adjustable. I think, uh, you know, if that's something you really need, it's probably worth the effort of putting it together. So now that I've got the Sun Gold Power server rack cabinet, my plans are to build a mixed battery bank. Probably three or four different brands of batteries. We'll see if we can get this filled up all the way with 30 kilowatt hours worth of battery. And then we will use this to, for testing. We'll use it for testing different inverters here on the, the solar wall. But right now I'll probably get it hooked up to the Sun Gold Power inverter 
and uh, give it a little bit extra storage as we're using this to, to power up the workshop. But it'll definitely come in handy over the next few years testing out different pieces of equipment. So if you guys are interested in this server rack cabinet, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.